today we will be discussing about the ABCs of diabetes. ABCs of diabetes include A for A1C, uh, B for blood pressure and C for cholesterol. Now, HbA1c is a test to measure glucose, uh, glucose control over the past 2 to 3 months and it should be below 7%. Blood sugar should be monitored routinely in patients with diabetes and its blood sugar target should be less than 140-80. And cholesterol or bad cholesterol should ideally be, uh, should be 100, uh, under 100 and preferably less than 70. Uh, HDL should be as high as possible, maybe uh, more than 10, more than 40 in men and more than 50 in females. Triglycerides are usually high in patients with, um, with the diabetes and it also needs to be under control. It should not be allowed to be at very high levels. So the ABCs of diabetes include A1C, blood pressure and cholesterol. Today we will be discussing about the types of diabetes. So there are basically uh, two types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. There are of course many other types which we won't be discussing. In type 1 diabetes, the body completely stops producing any insulin. Now insulin is a hormone as I told before, it is secreted from the pancreas and that will help in the metabolism of glucose. So people who have type 1 diabetes have total deficiency of insulin and uh, should take insulin injections to survive. Today we will be discussing about what are the symptoms of diabetes. Now symptoms of diabetes include increased thirst and urination, increased hunger, fatigue, blurred vision, numbness or tingling of the feet and hands and uh, uh, inability to heal wounds and unexplained weight loss. Symptoms of type 1 diabetes can start quickly that is in matter of weeks whereas type 2 diabetes often develops very slowly that is over a course of few years. Now people may not even, ma even notice them for so many uh, years before until they do a health checkup or something when they find out that their blood sugar is high. Usually they may have slight symptoms which they pass off as normal but unless the blood sugar is checked we will not be able to diagnose a treat of a case of diabetes. So we were discussing about the types of diabetes, today we will be discussing about type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes results when the body does not produce enough insulin and are able to produce or use insulin uh, properly. This is called insulin resistance. So uh, to begin with, the, once there is insulin resistance or when the body is resistant to the effects of insulin, the natural uh, history of the natural uh, act of the body is or the pancreas is to produce more insulin so that it outweighs the resistance. But over time it is not able to keep up and can't make enough insulin to keep our blood glucose at normal levels and approximately 90% of the cases of worldwide are as a result of type 2 diabetes, not type 1 diabetes. Today I will be discussing about uh, diabetes. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a disease that occurs when blood glucose or blood sugar is very high. And uh, uh, blood sugar is the main source of energy of our body and it comes from where, what we eat. And uh, the glucose is metabolized in the body by insulin which is a hormone that is secreted by the pancreas. So uh, when people don't have enough of insulin, they develop diabetes or their glucose levels are high.